Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel Diva and Butthead. It's your girl Joan of all traits here. Right here we have a custom made ashtray for my sister Isha. That's her name in the middle if you guys can see that. If you guys want to see how I made this ashtray and the things I did, just continue watching. Okay, you guys, so you already know this is Diva and Butthead. So what is Diva and Butthead without Divas and Butt? So you guys just go get your whatever you're rolling up in. Go get your butt. You know, go get your lighters and your ashtray. And if you don't have an ashtray, I know the perfect girl to get it get one from. So yeah, just hit me up. Okay? Cool. You ready? Let's go. Let's get into this video. Mm, the design that um, I got cut out and it came out perfectly. The reason I added this part into the video was because I was having a little problem with my cutting machine. But now that that's all hashed out, I could just design anything I want to design and I was excited about that okay here you guys I already got my epoxy mixed up I have my cutout ready as I just showed you guys to put on the ashtray to customize it um I mix up my epoxy for three to five minutes just in case anyone was wondering make sure you scrape the sides and the bottom so you can get it really mixed in nicely also before you pour make sure your silicone is clean and that's what I'm doing right now So I started off only filling this up halfway and the reason for that was because I wanted to make sure that the oil that I was using to design this piece went to the bottom of the um, mold. So yeah, I didn't really have a problem with the, the oil paint um, or pigment traveling to the bottom, um, but I did learn from the process that I decided to do here um, I think I might have added too much white I'm not sure but I will continue to try this process to see if I can do something a little better So here I'm just grabbing my little stick uh, to mix up my epoxy and I just I would recommend that you just don't overdo this um, only because I ended up moving my mold so you know it'll have a place to cure it while I, while I continue to work in my working area here and it mixed up a little bit more than I wanted it to so you know. Yeah, just be a little mindful of that. I know I will next time, so yeah.
guys. I can't even look. I can't even look. Yeah, so <laughs> all my pigment moved. And although I still like how it came out, I just really wish I would have known that I should have waited until it dried a little, it hardened up a little. Um, but yeah, it still came out pretty good. And I still really love the piece and my sister still really loved the piece. So that's all that really matters. But it was um, a trial and error. It was learning experience for me. So yeah, just continue watching and see how it all turned out. And real quick, I'm about to put the vinyl decal on. And I just wanted to say that on this part also, make sure that it's epoxy underneath the vinyl decal. Cause um, I did a Bob Marley one after this and I will be posting that video too. And my Bob Marley one came out a lot better. So I'm almost done with the decorating part. Um, I'm sorry you guys missed so much. It was only because I lost some footage. So you guys didn't get to see me place the decal. But you guys do get to see me at glitter. So I hope that's good enough for you. And if not, I have another pre-recorded video that I'm going to edit and upload. I'm sorry about all these pre-recorded ones. But I couldn't upload them. And I still want you guys to see them. Cause I felt like they were really good learning experiences for me. So yeah, I'll be uploading that next and you guys can see it and it's featuring Bob Marley. So yeah. guys i said this in my other video for my other channel um join of all traits if you guys want to go subscribe um but i did say that you know it's not safe for me not to be wearing gloves that was a rookie mistake and i was just you know too excited to do it and i had used up all my gloves so i did buy a box of gloves so all the pre-recorded videos i don't i do not have on gloves but just a tip always wear gloves a mask and be in a ventilated area when you're using epoxy or any type of chemicals with fumes that's okay you guys that's all for voiceover me and here is real life me you got it girl laughable how much i actually spilled outside of the ashtray yeah i spilled a lot of it I really like how it's drying. Oh my god, it's so cute. You guys can't see this in. You guys see that bubble? No, no, we don't want you here. Get out of there. Okay. That's cool. Let me see. You guys can't see that really. How can I wait till tomorrow?
oblige, you should open up. I'm trying to put your heart together, found it broken up. Going up and smoking, smoking up. Make sure the children in the house, she's inappropriate. The way she's approaching us, I disassociate. Exfoliate, the renegotiate. She's closing up. Come to visit me, she said that she the loneliest. And it's hard to open up. You OPN, bitch, you won't be BM. We should be closer than friends. If you OPN, engaging, you's on my agenda. Request my chariot to get ya. The door's OPN. Take that high road and hop in. Open up. So the Superman and Superwoman keychain is on my other channel, Jane of All Trades. So you guys can check that channel out. And if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and comment and subscribe. And um, I think that's all right. Is that everything? I'm not forgetting something. Oh, yo, yo, yeah. No smoking without me. Bye.